Work is happening on a major connection to the urban trail system in Colorado Springs. It adds a key section to the Legacy Loop, which will eventually circle downtown Colorado Springs. It adds a major east-west trail connection. Our Bill Folsom looks into what it brings to trail users. A cross-country team out for a run. We're here for a workout, running. They're frequent users of the Colorado Springs urban trails. There's a little bit of diversity on these trails, more than around our school. Now there's a new trail option in the works. It's one of the priorities of the, the department is creating connections between our different urban trails. It's a single segment running east-west at the top of downtown's Old North End. It is a significant project for sure. There are multiple major connections that happen with this project and they converge right here. Coming up this direction is Shook's Run. Going that way is the Rock Island Trail. Then that also connects down to the Greenway Trail. That connection right there is also the top portion of the Legacy Loop. The vision of Legacy Loop is a 10 mile urban trail system that uh, circumnavigates the downtown Colorado Springs area. Segment by segment, the Legacy Loop has been coming together over years. The newest piece has been a tough deal to make because it's along a railroad right of way. That is a property actually, a corridor that we purchased from uh, Union Pacific. The addition gets the loop to around 95% complete. The connection also extends east beyond the loop to the Rock Island Trail. It creates an east-west urban trail connection almost to Powers Boulevard. The Rock Island Trail didn't have any true connectivity into a lot of our urban trail system. The off-street way to get around opens new possibilities for commuting, recreation, bikers, walkers, and those runners. Yes, every Saturday I would use a 10-mile loop. If all goes to plan, the trail should be open by early summer. In Colorado Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5.